Hey, hey, so what's going on you guys? So today I was gonna bring you some natural remedies for allergies. I don't know about you, but I used to deal with allergies a lot. Like when I was growing up, um, I actually had to go get allergy shots. I um, did that all through like my teenage years into my early 20s and um, and then I kind of got away from it. I believe it had to do with, honestly, I think I like my insurance didn't cover them anymore or something like that. But I had like really bad allergies. Like I did not want to have to be outside if at all possible. And when they did like that prick test on my back, it looked, oh, it looked really bad. <laughs> like I was allergic to everything. It was ridiculous because they didn't do a blood test for some reason. Anyway, so I used to deal with allergies a lot. So I took allergy medicines um, after the allergy shots and those allergy medicines would make me feel groggy and tired and, and, um, and I was just, I was always on something or um, I had to do the little, those nasal things. And I'm not talking about like nasal saline. I'm talking about like the, the nasal, um, I can't think of what they're called right now, but the ones that, that have medicine in them and they burn. And I don't know if you're like me, but I, that like really turned me off. And then of course they tasted awful too. Like whatever, you know, it went in through your nose and then down through your throat and it was just, it was just an awful experience. So, and <laughs> I'm glad I was able to take you through that um, on this live today. My awful experience with nasal, with nasal, um, nasal medicines for, for allergies. I cannot think of what they're called right now. <laughs> but, so, I dealt with allergies a lot, all the way up until, um, up through my pregnancy with my son, and somehow, while I was pregnant with him, I kind of lost those allergies, but yet, everybody else in my family still had them. And, um, since I knew what an awful experience it was to have to take the allergy meds and the nasal sprays and the eye drops, see, I had to do those too, um, I... I had to come up with something else that my family could do so that they didn't have to be subjected to constantly taking allergy meds all the time, right? Well, at least I thought so. So um, years ago, I found a, a go-to that has worked in our household um, all the way through, and that is local raw honey. And it has to be local to you, particularly. You can't just like order it online like local raw honey. No, you have to find a place that you can buy the honey where the bees and everything are in your area, collecting pollens from your area, and then the honey is being made in your area and, and that it's not over-processed um, so that you are getting the pollens from that. Now, I will say that there are multiple things that say that there's no actual research to prove it, but yet so many people benefit from it. So I don't really know why there hasn't been that much research. I don't know, maybe because it works just too darn good. They don't want you to know. I really don't know. <laughs> but it works wonders with my family. It works best um, if you do it before the allergy season starts. Yes, see, Adrian says, raw local honey works amazing. It really, truly does. Like my husband used to come home from work. He works outside and like on a really, really windy day, he would, he would come home and there was one day, I will not even lie, his eyes were so swollen and puffy and Oh my goodness, I thought he was gonna have to get a steroid shot. It was just that bad. Um, but since he has been taking um, local raw honey, basically what you do is one tablespoon in the morning. Um, that's when we do it, or that's when he would do it. That's when my other son does it too. Um, but anyway, so my husband and my son do it and they take a tablespoon of honey and they just eat it. Um, my husband now puts it like in his oatmeal or something, but. It, most of the time they just they just take the teaspoon or the tablespoon I'm sorry and um, and it it works best if you do it before the season but it can still work when you do it after you've already started having allergy symptoms um, it's just it's just gonna take some time it's not gonna it's not like an allergy pill that will be faster acting um, it, it takes time to build up in your system um, kind of like an allergy shot did um, for me when I was a kid 
So, um, all right, so that is my number one, like, go-to, go-to. Then my other thing is, uh, that I have found in research is quercetin, which I actually, um, have experience with quercetin when I was experiencing hives due to, um, a reaction that I was having due to a detox in my system. And in order to get rid of the hives, I was given quercetin. And the reason behind that is because quercetin, um, it's a bioflavonoid and antioxidant and it helps to, um, it helps to stabilize your histamine, which your histamine is what is, your histamine reaction is what is causing your allergies to be a problem in your body. The histamine reaction is, is where, where you have the disruption. And, um, and so the quercetin helps in doing that, helps in stabilizing that. Now there are foods that, um, that you can eat that do have more quercetin in them. Um, there's also supplements that you can take also. I, I was given a, uh, I was given like drops, drops of quercetin. And you need to make sure that when you are doing a supplement that it is from somebody who you, or from a company that you trust and know that they put um, high quality ingredients in there, that they're not putting anything else in there. Um, because since supplements are not FDA, um, approved they they're not monitored like regular foods um, so you just need to make sure that what you are getting is is really good quality stuff so that is my only thing that I say about when you do go and get a supplement from somewhere make sure that it is a good quality supplement just don't pull something off of um, a big box retailers um, shelves and think yes this is it do some research, find something good, ask some friends if they may, if they might know. Um, also, another thing, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really good. What you would do is you would take a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in, in water. I used to do like this, um, this mix, and I still do sometimes when I'm not feeling the best, like especially if I feel like I got a cold coming on or something, I would do more than just one teaspoon. I would do multiple teaspoons of that, and then local raw honey and cinnamon, and it would kind of taste like a, um, like a apple cider, a hot apple cider, because I would do it in hot water. Um, but it's really sour, really, really sour because of the vinegar, the way that I made it. But so for this, you would just do a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar in water, and you could do that up to three times a day. And basically what the idea is, is it, is it, um, it helps with your with the mucus production. It reduces it so uh, so that you don't have all that going on in there. And then it helps also to cleanse your lymphatic system. And um, another one is the neti pot which I've done the neti pot. I have so many friends that like love the neti. If you love the neti, please comment below. I want to hear about, about your experience with the neti pot because yeah, I, I have done it and I've, and I've tried it more than once. Um, and I think it's one of those things where you just have to get used to it. Um, but the basis behind using it when you're having, um, allergy issues, you should do it actually at the beginning of the allergy season. A lot of these remedies work best if you start it before you actually start having an allergic reaction. Um, because that's just the way it works best. Once you're already starting to be inflamed and everything, it's kind of like, it takes more time for that, for that reaction to come back down. But so the basis behind the neti pot is, is that it kind of is rinsing out those, um, those pollens and danders and everything that, that are, that are causing a reaction in your system and it gets rid of it. So, um, that is the basis behind the neti pot. Now, as I said, I want to hear if you do the neti because I'm I'm always fascinated about it. I I've watched videos, I have read articles, and for some reason, whenever I use the neti, it 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 always comes out of my mouth or something. <laughs> like it doesn't go in my nose and out the other nose or out the other nostril. It like comes out my mouth or I I don't e I don't even know. It just really doesn't work for me. But I know a lot of people that love it. Okay, well, so I have more um, 
tips and ideas for natural remedies that I have found. I was pretty excited about it because I didn't even know some of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and be posting a blog on it later on today and I will post it in the comments below. So if you have liked or commented on this, I, you'll be notified when I do add that in there. Otherwise, I will also be just posting it on my page, so make sure you check back. And I would love to hear other natural remedies that you use for, um, for allergies. What have you found that works to, um, to like just bust through those allergies? Because we all seem to get them for the most part. There's just like either we get them or somebody in our family gets them. It's it's just part of our reality. And to be able to not have to be dependent upon the nasal sprays that hurt and taste nasty and the eye drops and um, the pills that make you feel tired, you know, to be able to have a natural um, outlet would be awesome, right? So share whatever ideas that you have, um, that you have used for your family or for yourself, I would love to love to hear them and maybe even include them in my blog because I I was just super excited all the things that I was reading. Anyway, so if you have missed any of my other natural remedies, feel free to um, to go over to www.beverlyschlag.com and and look at the ones that I've already done. I've done um, them on anti-inflammatories. Um, what was it? Uh, detox boosters. Um, I've done them on anxiety, depression. Um, I've done them on a lot of things, energy boosting. But yeah, so make sure you pop over there and um, let me know. Give me a give me a message or let me know there if there is some type of natural remedy that you would like to hear about because I really dig on researching about natural remedies. So. Um, this has been a really fun series for me. Anyway, I will uh, see you guys later on. So have a wonderful, beautiful day and I'll talk to y'all later. All right, bye.